another determining factor in this burner conversion for this oil boiler is to uh, make sure that uh, underneath uh, where the bottom of the heat exchanger is uh, that there are no watermarks or traces of rust that indicates uh, leakage. Uh, sometimes um, a leakage will be present and we may not know about it because the heat from the burner um, vaporizes the, the drips so that even though the boiler is dry um, there could be leakage internally and so we don't want to put a burner in here to convert it to gas and find out that uh, the customer um, is going to have problems with it in the very near future so we want to avoid that by inspecting underneath it. The extra time spent cleaning this combustion chamber is where it yields the most efficiency and fuel savings and this is what the unit looks like after the chamber is clean and re-insulated. At this juncture we size up the orifice for the correct BTU that the boiler will utilize. Um, this is after cleaning the, the heat exchanger and the boiler and other related areas. At this point in time the unit is now complete, just about complete. Uh, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to fire it up uh, this way you get to see how it runs and once this thing fires up um, we do a, a, a combustion check uh, using a, this piece of equipment and uh, we insert a, uh, a spill switch right where the barometric uh, control, unit, control, control is and uh, we check for safety make sure everything uh, is working properly and uh, for now what we did was just adjust the air band so that uh, we are in the approximate setting that we want. Of course, we want to verify this, you know, with instruments. Uh, and so, here it is. That's the uh, gas that's shooting in. Uh, you can see it's a uh, soft blue with some uh, orange tips on it. And that's pretty much what we're looking for. But again, we're gonna verify with our instrument. And so, with this unit firing, we're looking for uh, a percentage of oxygen uh, around um, 6.2 or between 3.5 and 6.2. And so, uh, we're sitting at uh, 5.7, 5.6. The CO2 content is uh, 8.6, 8.7. So uh, we're doing pretty good right here. Uh, we're gonna stop at this. And uh, one more time, we're gonna show you the flame. Of a unit that's uh, properly adjusted. And with the spill switch connected on the barometric damper and the adjustments made uh, as well as uh, testing the, the safety of this unit uh, to conclude this installation. Thank you very much for watching our video. This is Joseph Ritis, General Manager from Handyman of America.